Hi, and welcome to Jerry's Engineering Corner. I am Jerry DiBattista, the Global Business Director for Porex's Electronic and Automotive Businesses. For those of you who are familiar with my video series, I recently did a demonstration of how expanded PTFE can have dramatic drop in airflow rates by simply touching the surface. Expanded PTFE is not only fragile, as was demonstrated in my last video, but is also difficult to handle, especially in any automated processes. So here are some actual pieces of expanded PTFE in Porex Vertec PTFE. This is a sample of Porex Vertec PTFE. Very tough, robust, does not easily damage, and can be vibrationally welded onto other materials without issue. This here is expanded PTFE. Very fragile, easily wrinkles, and damages by just touching it. As you may recall from my previous video, the airflow rate in this sample has now changed because I've handled it. This is one of the many reasons why expanded PTFE is often laminated to a fabric or scrim material to protect the surface. That is not necessary for 4X PTFE, which is smooth, does not damage easily, and naturally tough. It is actually so tough that you can take Porex Vertex PTFE and ultrasonically weld it to any type plastic. This here is an example of it welded to a plastic demo piece. As you can see, the weld forms around the outside perimeter by adding some vibration and heat. In this next little demo, we will place some water on each piece to demonstrate how both products are hydrophobic. First, we'll take the Porex Vertec PTFE. I'll create a little puddle of water on the surface. As you can see, the water beads up immediately. And by just moving the product around, you can see the water almost dancing on the surface. If I just slightly increase the angle, you can see the water rolls right off. Now we'll do the same thing with the expanded PTFE. As you can see, the water still beads up, but it's very difficult to move around like the Porex Vertec PTFE. Now, when we go to remove the water, as you can see, water does not run off as easily. Even if you hold it upside down, the water does not come off the surface. So in conclusion, EPTFE can have its property change if you touch it, is difficult to handle in automated processes, and can actually have water stick to the surface which can get sucked into your enclosure. So I ask you, is it worth all these risks to use expanded PTFE? Well, the obvious answer is to use Porex Vertec Sintered PTFE. No matter the industry or application, Porex is the only name you need to remember for porous material technology. So that's it for today. See you next time in the lab with me, Jerry with a G.